Hey YouTube, Brian here again, coming at you with a video today about uh, some new Finex light fixtures that I picked up for the 150 gallon discus tank. Uh, you probably saw my videos uh, last week on the uh, lights that I bought for the 90 gallon. I was so impressed with them right away that I decided um, to go ahead and upgrade my 150 gallon. I, w I was planning on doing it, but I decided to just make a move on it right away here. Um, so uh, what I've got is uh, four 36-inch Ray 2 DS's and uh, two 36-inch Monster Rays. Um, the ones on the bottom here are the Ray 2 DS and the top two are the Monster Rays, even though they say Fuge Ray. Um, they are Monster Rays. Um, so they're going to go in here. Um, and I'm, I'm really impressed with the way these Finex lights work. Um, you know, the Ray 2s um, have just done awesome as far as giving me the light I need to grow plants. And then the Monster Rays, like I said in my prior videos, they just really enhance the colors of my discus. And you're really going to see it in this tank because the discus in this tank are bigger and, and a lot more developed and more colorful. And I've got a, a wider kind of array of colors, so it's, it's really going to look nice. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, kind of some before and after and side-by-side -side shots again, I'm sure, all that kind of good stuff. I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, get you some shots of the lights in action, and we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the tank with the current quad T5 fixtures on it. Um, I've got two 36-inch quad T5HO fixtures. And what I'm using are, on each fixture are two 65K bulbs, one 10K bulb, and one of the planted, uh, you know, the pinkish type colored ones. I'm not sure what they're even called anymore, I forget. But um, So that's what it looks like. Decent light, but just not, not good enough for me, especially uh, for carpeting style plants and redder plants. Um, it's just not working out. Um, adding these Ray 2s is really going to help out, and then the Monster Rays, like I've said, is going to enhance the color of the discus. So um, let's go ahead and uh, get the lights installed. Okay, so uh, right here we're looking at the 150 gallon discus tank with the Finex Ray 2s, the Ray 2 DS um, lit up. Uh, that's four 36 inch fixtures, so two on each side basically. Um, as you can see, it, it's already given me more light. The other cool thing is you're getting a little bit of that shimmer that you get from LEDs. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Really, really digging these lights, man. They, they're, they're, without even the monster ray, they're, they're just really. Um, I, I just can't. It's hard to explain unless you see it live and in person. But they're just really, really great looking lights. So, um, what I'll do now is uh, I'll go flip on the uh, monster rays, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like uh, with those on. All right, you can really see the monster right now as they're starting to get up, uh, just enhancing their colors. It really brings out the colors. You know, really when it comes down to it, the lighting is one of the most important things in your tank uh, for any type of fish. It, it's going to showcase your fish. If you grow plants, um, the right type of lighting is needed to grow healthy plants and, and get your plants to, to flourish. can't say enough about how important light is, and I can't say enough about how awesome these Phoenix lights are. Um, I've just really been turned on to them lately, as you guys can probably tell. I mean, <laughs> done a couple videos on them and that type of thing. Um, they're just they're just great lights, and I'm very satisfied with uh, with the lights. So I'm just going to end this by zooming in a little bit here on some of the discus to showcase that monster ray, and then I will um, take you guys to um, to look at my African cichlid tank with these same lights on it, just to kind of show you what it does over there too.
So this is just a little bit of a follow-up. Uh, this is the next morning. Um, I've had the lights on for three hours and I'm already getting some uh, some nice purling coming here. I don't know if you can see it coming up from the Blixa uh, right there. And then uh, a couple of nice streams coming up from the um, Ludwigia Cuba. Um, so that just shows you um, how much I've increased my lighting and the par. Um, and one thing I didn't mention in the prior part of the video too was that the par on these things for the 32, uh, or excuse me, 36 inch um, Ray 2s, you're looking at a 44 par reading per light. And then the Monster Ray is going to give you another 14 per light. So I've just increased um, my par reading on this tank now to 116, which is huge. Um, so obviously I'm going to have to mess around with timers and, and have uh, certain lights off at certain times of the day for my photo period. But I uh, just wanted to, as I was getting ready to upload this video and, and edit it and stuff, I just noticed some awesome purling going on here. So I thought I would just show you. Three hours, basically, of having these lights on, and I'm already getting that. Never, never really saw that on this tank in the past, so. Okay, so here's what my 125-gallon African cichlid tank looks like um, with the current lighting that I've got. I've got uh, two dual 36-inch T8 fixtures, and I've got the kind of the one of the... I think one 10k or 20k bulb in each and then one of the pinkish type and then on each end I've got those submersible LEDs that have a combination of actinic and regular they're very low power and they're only like 15 inches long or something like that so just wanted to show you a before picture I'll show you what it looks like after I uh, hook up the the Finex lights what I've got lit up right now are the four Ray 2 36 inch fixtures and, and these are the Ray 2 DS. Um, I think if I were to um, put these on my African tank I would um, I shouldn't say if I'm going to uh, at some point add these but I would go with probably at least two of the 36 inch Ray 2 I forget what they're called D something where they've got um, half of the bulbs I believe are the uh, are the actinic and then I'd add the monster rays as well which I'm going to show you here what what it looks like now with the monster rays turned on you're going to notice a big difference in the in the highlights of the colors of the fish okay so now you're looking at it with the monster rays on as well as um, so what I've, what I've got is uh, six 36 inch fixtures on here to, um, on each side two ray 2 DS and one monster ray so two Monster Rays total, four Ray, Phoenix Ray, uh, Ray 2 DS total on the tank. And like I said, I think what would look even better on an African tank would be to take one of those fixtures uh, of the regular Ray 2 DS and add the one that's got the actinic light in it too. So combined with a regular Ray 2, um, the actinic date Ray 2, and the Monster Ray, I think you're going to have a wide var variety of color um, coming down on the fish, and it's just going to look awesome. But anyway, I wanted to show you what it looked like on the African tank. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, this is the tank a couple of days later after I shot the original footage. As you can see, I've trimmed down all the plants and everything, but things are rolling along real good. This is after just a few minutes of uh, the lights being turned on for the day, so you're not seeing any purling or anything like that. But again, thanks for watching the video. I'll put all the important links below for Finex and that type of thing. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Later. Thank <laughs> you.